Hello and welcome. If you use Getty and have lots of repositories, you might have noticed that it's frustrating to set options for each one of them. It takes lots of time, effort, and you might set something wrong. In this video, I will show you how to apply one of those settings to all repositories with a single operation. We'll be setting the same synchronization interval for all mirrors. The database in this example runs on PostgreSQL 13. Imagine to have thousands of mirror repositories. The default interval for mirror syncing is a few hours, and most repositories you mirror would probably be hosted on GitHub. This is bad because you'll probably get blacklisted for doing too many requests. Another reason to increase the mirror sync interval is to reduce the CPU and disk load on your server. This is especially important if you use SSDs. Let's start. The first thing to do is to change the default interval mirror setting in the Gitty configuration file. New mirrors will follow that new interval, but the ones already existing before the change will not. To solve this problem, we'll act directly on the database using a software called Adminer, which is a web GUI. To avoid mistakes, I suggest using a GUI instead of directly acting with SQL. Adminer is free and open source software. You find the link to its website in the video description. To install Adminer, you can use a traditional installation using your distributions, repositories, Docker or even Kubernetes. I suggest using Docker Compose. You can use this Docker Compose YAML file, save it, and then run Docker Compose up. Once the Adminer container is running, open a web browser and connect to the right host and port. After connecting to Adminer, you have to fill in the correct information to access the database. If you get a fatal error, make sure to let Adminer access the database in the PGHBA configuration file and then restart PostgreSQL. Once you are in, use CTRLF to find the mirror table and click on it. You'll get eight columns, ID, repo ID, interval, enable prune, updated Unix, next update Unix, LFS enabled, and finally, LFS endpoint. We are interested in the interval column. Values reported in this column are in nanoseconds, which means that they are seconds multiplied by 10 to the power of 9. You can verify this by going to one of the repository settings of your Gitty instance. As you can see, the mirror interval value is displayed in hours, minutes, and seconds. In this case, we have 120 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. If we translate this in plain seconds, going from seconds to minutes to hours, we get 0 times 1 plus 0 times 60 plus 120 times 60 times 60, which is 432,000 seconds. Let's go back to Adminer and change the view to the repository table. Now, we must find the corresponding repository. We'll do an SQL query based on the lower name column. We are interested in the ID value, which is 976. Let's go back to the mirror table and search for a repo ID of 976. As you can see, our interval value is 432 followed by 12 zeros. Now, before changing any value in the database, I suggest doing a backup, just in case. Let's change the interval time of all mirrors, tick on whole result, then edit. Put the desired value in nanoseconds, then click on save. If you want to set an interval of one day, for example, use 864, followed by 11 zeros. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.